defense in the field in volleyball is not easy. Sometimes the balls are flying at you at over 100 km per hour from a few meters away. Reacting and successfully defending this attack is really difficult. That's why today I am going to present you with uh, simple exercises that will stretch your nervous system and greatly help improve your reaction skills to incoming ball in defense. But why actually think about uh, practicing defense? We all know that uh, defense in the field is part of our defense along with uh, defense at the net. And in my experience, we don't want to pay uh, from time to time much attention to defense uh, in the field. If you agree with me even a little bit uh, and sometimes uh, you don't feel like uh, working on your defense, like the video. We say uh, why practice uh, defense uh, if we can't directly make a point out of it? Uh, why try to sometimes defend almost impossible balls in the field? Why should I pass that uh, simple ball absolutely precisely to the net? Or we say to ourselves, uh, never mind that I didn't take that ball, I'll make up uh, for it with another great attack or ace on serve. If volleyball was uh, simple and uh, defense in the field wasn't important, we might think like this. But unfortunately, it's not. Uh, volleyball is not simple. It's getting faster and faster and we are often under a lot of uh, time pressure in matches. That's why defense in the field is extremely important in modern volleyball and many top teams uh, win important matches uh, thanks to great defense. We usually practice defense in the field during team trainings, doing various drills. On the other hand, you can also train a defense individually. And in this video, I want to show you four defense volleyball drills that you can do not only in team practice, but also alone with one teammate. These are drills that will build your nervous system and develop your reaction speed to the volleyball and improve your overall defensive skills. But first, let's start with the goals of the defense in the field. Sure, the main goal is to defend uh, the opponent's attack uh, and not let the ball fall on our side of the court. To this, I would add uh, three more specific goals of defense. First, if an easy ball is uh, coming at us from the other side of the court, if it's a bump from the 5 meter or really easy spike, our goal should be to play the ball high to the net into the hands of the setter. That's the easiest situation we can encounter. The second goal of the defense is to defend a difficult uh, ball high in the middle of the field about 3 meters from the net. This is a situation where a hard attack is coming at us or we are defending another uh, complicated ball. Now we can't expect uh, ideal defense to the net. Instead, uh, we should think uh, that in these situations the best solution is to play the ball a little bit away from the net and high, so that the setter has the opportunity to run to the ball and set it. Well, the third situation and uh, possible defense is uh, when we are happy to touch the ball in the field at all, or where we have to jump uh, for the ball. Here our goal should be to play the ball high again and the ball should land inside our side of the court so that one of our teammates uh, can set it and that our team can still attack after this very difficult defense. And the four defensive volleyball drills that I'm about to show you will help you to improve uh, your defensive skills for all these uh, three basic defensive objectives. As I mentioned, uh, I will show you drills that you can do with uh, two players. Uh, as with the other drills, I advise start slowly. Give the player in the field time to react. Uh, you don't need to immediately hit 100% uh, uh, with maximum power to the defensive player. The first drill that will improve your nervous system and reaction times is the drill where the players uh, stand approximately 6 meters apart. One player at the net, uh, the other in the defensive position in the field. The defensive player has his back uh, to the net. He stands in a power position and waits for a signal from the player at the net. The player at the net has the ball in his hands and is ready to hit the defensive player. But first he slaps the ball so that the defensive player hears the sound and knows to turn to face him. The defensive player turns as quickly as possible and then defends uh, the attack from a teammate. In my experience, this is an excellent defensive drill. Where we are on defense, uh, we are tense, uh, we don't know when our teammate is going to attack. Then uh, our body and eyes have to react uh, quickly, turn around, uh, find where the ball is uh, going to come from and finally play defense. If you can master this uh, slapping the ball exercise, uh, which gives the defensive player time to turn around, you can move on to a more difficult variation. Instead of uh, slapping, uh, for example, shout the word now, much later, already when the ball is thrown, thus reducing the time and reaction time for the defensive player to the incoming ball. This drill is similar to the previous one. We will no longer rotate. Uh, instead, uh, we close our eyes. 
we stand again uh, approximately six meters apart. The player in defense is already in the defensive uh, power position and his eyes are closed. The player at the net uh, can again uh, slap the ball, signaling the defending player to open his eyes and defend. But to reduce this reaction time, uh, you can try stamping the ground like we did. In addition, the attacking player changes positions. He doesn't aim uh, from one place all the time, but goes once to the left, uh, then again to the right, changing positions regularly. So that the player in the defense has to react not only to the incoming ball, but also to the directions uh, from which the ball is uh, coming. Now we move on to the exercise where we have uh, some kind of a sail stretched over the net. This can be a bed sheet or a blanket. It's important that uh, this sheet is opaque. One player takes the balls behind the net, hiding behind the sail so that the player in the field cannot see him, and then starts throwing the balls to the other side. The defending uh, player's job is to react uh, quickly, move to the ball and bump it to the net as accurately as possible. In this case, uh, the defending player uh, should try to bank the ball high into the middle of the net uh, where the setter is normally waiting for the ball. Although this exercise uh, may seem simple, it's not, uh, because we don't know when the ball will come at us, uh, we don't know where it will come from, and we don't know where it will go. We are again not only in under time uh, pressure. And a classic drill to improve uh, reactions is to work on wall drills. The defending player stands at the wall. The further away from the wall he stands, uh, the more time he has to react. The other player stands uh, behind him and throws balls into the wall, to the sides. The front defending player has to react quickly to the bounced uh, balls and tries to play them in front of him as if he is playing defense in the field and the hard attack is flying at him. This exercise can be made more difficult if the back player stands on a box uh, and hit the balls into the wall instead of throwing uh, them in. But don't do it immediately, come to that once uh, you have mastered the first variation of this exercise. Defense in the field is important, just as important as other volleyball skills. So schedule for developing your defensive skills similar time as for the other skills and if you are not good at defense or you want to improve, I believe these uh, four simple drills uh, to develop your defensive skills and improve your reaction time will help you become a better player. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.